Excel Academy uh, was founded um, by Kay Savage six years ago. It's an all, all girls school in Southeast DC. It was the first all girls charter school in DC. Uh, we have grown through sixth grade this year with almost 650 students. And we are located uh, right in the heart of Anacostia in Ward 8. We are the highest performing elementary school in Anacostia. That's something that we take a lot of pride in. Also, um, there are a lot of improvements that are, we are still working to make. Uh, we are trying to make a reality the choice of college for each one of our girls. The reason that I got involved in charter schools is that when um, I was coming home from my work in Vietnam, I saw that we as a country were falling behind the rest of the world in education. Right now we rank 23rd and 25th in the world in math and reading. And for me that's good, not good enough for our kids and for our country. Going forward in the future, um, our rising young people will become the leaders of this country. And if they are in a system that is performing at that level, that is something that worries me. So charter schools uh, allow us to create a choice for our students and a choice for our parents, um, but also allow these schools to focus on individual subjects that may be more positive in the world today, like science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The flaws that I see in our system today is that we're not creating a system that trains our students to be competitive in the world today. Uh, we are falling behind and there's a lot more that we can do. Also we don't offer a lot of students choice. If you live in a certain area, by law you have to go to a certain school. Giving students the ability to choose increases buy-in, which increases accountability. My thoughts on improving the system, it's been said that demographics are destiny. I really believe it's about community and community being destiny. If we can improve our communities, give access to strong education for our young people, then they will have the opportunity to succeed in our society and in our global society today. I've been blessed to have very strong mentors in my life that have helped me realize my dreams and also push me to recognize my faults and work to improve those as well. Um, Linda Brown of the Building Excellent Schools organization in Boston, Massachusetts. She was critical in writing the legislation, working to write the legislation in Massachusetts, which adopted one of the first charter school laws in this country. She also helped train me in a charter leadership program that I attended and is one of the most spirited and passionate people about education and about improving outcomes for our young people. Also, my father, Chip Ackridge of the Ackridge Companies. Um, he is someone I respect uh, more than anybody else through his incredible sense of morality, his determination, his drive, and the respect that he shows others around him. Um, right now, uh, my, my biggest achievement is the creation of the Maryland Eastern Shore Charter School Alliance. Though we have not actualized all of our goals of a creation of a strong network of charter schools on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, we are on our way and working hard towards that goal.